In this video I will be automating QoS configuration setup for Windows 11 computers. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the reason for this video. Basically I got another request to automate Windows setup configuration, but this time it's a kiosk configuration. And kiosk configuration allows us to specify what applications we allow our users to run on the computer. In this case we will allow only a single application and that will be Microsoft Edge. And the full request is quite complicated, so for this video I will only focus on automating the actions that are in the green rectangle, because I want to have a video on my channel that covers the basic EOS configuration. And in the future I will make another video where I will be automating all the actions in this request, and for the kiosk configuration I will be using a different method to make it a bit more interesting. Anyways, so the requirements for this automation package is that we need to have a kiosk user, Upon restarting the PC, it should boot directly into the kiosk mode without requiring any user input. So basically our kiosk user needs to be without a password. And then the kiosk user needs to have access only to Microsoft Edge, and Microsoft Edge needs to launch a website that is located on the local hard drive. And this means that we will need to include the deployment for this static web page in our provisioning package. Next, Microsoft Edge needs to have the restart session button then the browser should never restart automatically or only after at least 5 hours of inactivity. Also, exiting kiosk mode should be possible by pressing ctrl alt delete And then the last requirement is that logging into the kiosk again does not require you to enter a password, just clicking on the OK button. So basically this requirement is the same as the second one, we need to have a kiosk user without a password. And that's it, so the requirements in here covers a very basic kiosk configuration. Anyways, now I will go back to my GitHub page and talk about the package that I will be creating. And here you can see all the actions that I will be including in the provisioning package, as you can see it's not many of them, and that's because this will be a very simple package to create. And this provisioning package will include actions to disable out of the box experience, create admin account, then set admin password to never expires, and then the package will have a kiosk configuration file, and this configuration file will configure Edge to execute on startup, and also when executing to open a web page that we will have on the local hard drive. And the last action is to deploy the web page that Microsoft Edge will be launching on startup, and for this action I will be using 7-zip, because 7-zip makes file deployment very easy. And that's basically it, now I will download all the necessary files for the provisioning package, and I have all of them in here. So in here I have the index.html file, this will be the static web page that we'll be deploying on the computer, and the second file is the kiosk configuration file. First I will open index.html, as you can see this is a very simple page, but it will work good enough to show how everything works. So I will click on the button right here to download this file, then I will go back to my GitHub page, and then I will open the kiosk configuration file. As you can see this is an XML file. And here in the first part we need to provide the information about the applications that we will allow our users to run. In this case we will allow only Microsoft Edge, and then we need to provide a few parameters for Microsoft Edge. And the most important part is here, here we provide the web page that we want Microsoft Edge to open when launching, in this case we are launching a web page that is locally available on the computer, and also we will be deploying this web page with the same provisioning package as this configuration file. Next we have a parameter to enable public browsing, this will enable the restart session button in Microsoft Edge, then we set idle timeout minutes to zero, this will disable the timeout entirely, and then we have a parameter no first run. And if you want to know more about available parameters or more information about the parameters that I'm using, you should check out the links that I have here in the GitHub page, because uh, these four links are all the information that I was using to create this provisioning package in the first place. Anyways, now let's click on the button right here to download this file and then let's check our downloads folder. So in our downloads folder I have all the files that I need, so index.html and also the kiosk configuration file. And now I will be using 7-zip to create a self-extracting archive to deploy the web page. 
because using 7-zip makes file deployment very easy when deploying files with Windows Configuration Designer. So I will right click on the file, go to 7-zip and then click on add to archive. In here we only need to click on create an SFX archive and then let's click OK. And now we have this executable and I don't need the HTML file anymore so I will delete it. And that's basically it. And now I can create my provisioning package and for that I will go to Windows Configuration Designer, click on File and New Project, I will name the package package, then I will click Next, Next, here I will select all Windows Desktop Editions, Next, and then Finish. First I will be disabling the out of the box experience, so I will go to Runtime Settings and then Ubi, and here for Height Ubi I will select True. Next, I will create an admin account, and for that we need to go to accounts, users, here we need to provide the username, so I will name my user admin, I will click on add, click on the area in here. Next, we need to provide a password, I will set a very secure password, so it's password 55. And then for the user group, I will select administrators. Next, I will be configuring the kiosk, and for that we need to go to Assigned Access, Multi-App Assigned Access Settings. Then here I'll click on Browse, go to my Downloads folder, and here I will select the XML file for kiosk configuration. I will click Open, as you can see, the file appeared in here. And that's basically it for the kiosk configuration. And now for the web page deployment, I will go to Provisioning Commands, then Primary Context, and I will click on the command. The first command that I will be creating will be named web page. I will click add here, click on the red area in here. So first we need to provide the command file. I will click on browse, once again go to my downloads folder, and here I will select the executable that I created with 7-zip. Next we need to provide the command line, and for that I will go back to my GitHub page, because here I have all the command lines that I will be using. And this command line in here performs two actions. The first action is to copy the index executable from the provisioning package to a temp folder on the computer. And the reason for that is that sometimes when executing executables directly from the package can be very buggy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But if you copy executables to a temp folder on the computer and then execute them, they always work. And the next part is to execute the executable itself. And here we are executing the index.exe file and then providing the location where we want to extract our files. In this case, we are extracting only a single file, but this method works great when you need to deploy multiple files. Anyways, I will click on the button right here to copy this line, go back to the provisioning package and insert the line in here. Next, I will be setting the admin password to never expires. Once again, I will go to command and create a second command in here. And I will name it never expires. And then click add. Once again, I will click here. And here we only need to provide the command line. Once again, I will go back to the GitHub page. And here is the command line that I will be using. So I'm executing PowerShell and then PowerShell will execute this single command that will set admin password to never expire. So once again, I will click on the button right here to copy this line, go back to the configuration designer and insert the line in here. And that's it, now we can create the provisioning package and for that I will click on export provisioning package. Here I will click next, 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 and then build. Now I will click on the output location and in here we only care about the file called package.pkg. I will right click on the file, select copy and then go to my USB drive and insert the file in here. And the last part is to test this provisioning package and for that I will be using a virtual machine that I have here in the VMware workstation. As you can see it is in the out of the box experience. And now to start the provisioning process the only thing that I need to do is to plug the USB drive to this virtual machine. And for that, I will go to VM, Removable Devices, select the USB drive that I want to connect, that contains the provisioning package, and I will click on Connect. And soon enough, should, uh, the provisioning process should start, and now we need to wait and see what's going to happen.
And as you can see, the provisioning process is over. And now we are in the kiosk user and the kiosk mode is active because we cannot launch any other applications. We don't have the taskbar or the start menu. The only application that we have is Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Edge launched automatically and it launched the web page that we deployed to the C kiosk folder on the computer. Also here we have the end session button and that means that the deployment was successful. And the last thing that I want to show you is how to disable the kiosk mode because when deploying the kiosk mode with the provisioning package, disabling it is a bit different than when you're configuring it manually. And for that, I will click on Control alt delete This will sign me out and go to my admin user. I will enter the password. And in my admin account, we normally we would go to the settings application, then accounts, and then to the other users. And to disable the kiosk mode, normally we would see the kiosk configuration and in here, and we will be able to disable it. But as you can see, in this case, the button here is disabled. And also we get this message right here saying that some of the settings are managed by your organization. So to disable the kiosk mode in this case, we need to go back to the accounts and then we need to go to access work or school. And here we have a button to add or remove a provisioning package. I will click on it. And here we should see the package that we deployed and apply to this virtual machine. So to remove the kiosk mode, we need to click on the package and click on the remove button in here and then click yes. And as you can see, the package will be removed. And now if I sign out from my admin user, you can see that I no longer have the option to, the, to sign into the kiosk user because the kiosk user is also removed with the kiosk configuration. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.